One potentially confusing thing in AP Psychology is the idea of body rhythms. And with body rhythms, there are actually three kinds. Most textbooks only deal with the circadian rhythm, but there are actually a number of other rhythms that are uh, available that we can actually examine. But circadian tends to be the one that most textbooks will deal with. So with circadian rhythm, uh, that comes from the Latin circa dies, uh, which means about a day or approximately a day. And it follows a 24-hour or so cycle. And the best example that we're going to be familiar with is the wake and sleep cycle. So it's not just sleeping, it's the wake and sleep cycle. Brain uh, uh, functions are going to be including the suprachiasmatic nucleus, or the SCN, which is the, the brain's master clock that helps regulate the, uh, the rest of the body and the rest of the brain in terms of waking and sleeping and dealing with those particular issues. Uh, related uh, connections are going to be the pineal gland and release of the hormone melatonin. Then there are, are infradian rhythms, more than a day or longer than a day. And the best examples are going to be, for humans, uh, menstruation. Uh, but it can also be breeding cycles, tidal rhythms, and seasonal rhythms when you start getting outside the realm of uh, human beings. But uh, breeding, especially with uh, mammalian uh, species. And then finally, ultradian rhythms. And these are going to be repeated throughout the day multiple times. Now, that includes the sleep cycle, the 90 to 120 minute rhythms that we have while we are sleeping. These are part of the ultradian rhythms. Hormonal release. Certain hormones are released at different times of the day, and that's a, a pretty consistent pattern among most humans. Thermoregulation. We tend to be colder at some parts of the day. We tend to be warmer at some parts of the day. And that is a, an ultradian rhythm. And then finally, you may notice that um, your urinary and bowel movements follow a relatively predictable pattern, and that is going to be due, once again, to ultradian rhythms. So those are the three kinds of rhythms that you're going to need to be familiar with for the AP Psych test.